Hi guys, Logfog here and welcome back to another FIFA 17 Legend Review. Today we're going to be reviewing the 92 rated Italian centre-back Franco Baresi. Uh, he cost me 385k and in the 5 games that he played for me he scored me 0 goals and got me 0 assists. He has a medium medium work rate with a 3 star weak foot and 2 star skill moves. So let's now get into his in-game stats and highlights. Okay guys, so getting into Franco Baresi's in-game stats, the four main stats on his card which stand out to me are his 96 standing tackle, his 95 interceptions, his 92 sliding tackle and his 94 marking. He has the specialists of tackling and technician and then has the traits of long passer and team player. And getting in towards the highlights that I got with Franco Baresi, I was really impressed with this card. Um, I didn't think he was going to be a bad legend, but I didn't think he was going to be as good as what he was. Uh, a lot of people don't tend to buy this card, mainly because of his height. He is only 5'9", and that is understandable why a lot of people would tend to avoid him. But... For me, his height wasn't much of an issue, or it wasn't in the games that I played with him. Maybe over a period of 100 games, it wouldn't be brilliant, but when I used him for the number of games that I did, he was pretty good anyway. So, um, yeah, for me, his first pro was his heading, which was quite surprising. Um, he was often able to deal with crosses really easy, um, in shown in some of the clips. Now... Although his height is only 5'9", he does have 85 jumping on his in-game stats, so it wasn't much of an issue for him to kind of just, like, spring up and just head the ball away. But also, he was often coming up against strikers and other attackers that were a lot taller than him, like, a lot taller than him, but he was just able to always... Like, 9 times out of 10, get to the head of first and, and clear out of danger, which is pretty good. And then for me, his second pro was his tackling. His tackling is fantastic. It is his biggest pro. I mean, 96 standing tackle and 92 slide tackle are just fantastic in-game stats to have. And they were definitely reflected in-game. Him and both Bazagli in the, in the uh, defense, as well as my two fullbacks, were just fantastic. And Berezi was certainly the leader of that defense. Uh, definitely the best player in there, as you would expect. Um, so yeah, his tackling was really good. And then his final pro for me was his strength. Now, he only has 79 in-game strength, but for me, it felt a lot better than that. Often able to just shrug people off the ball really easily. And again, with his height not being that good, I didn't think that his strength was, you know, like, his strength was not going to be amazing. But for me, it was, you know, it wasn't amazing, but it was pretty good. And, uh, definitely another pro to put down for him. The only con I have for him, and... Um, I'm just being a bit picky by going with this con, to be quite honest, is his pace. Now, his pace wasn't fantastic, but it wasn't, like, seriously bad. Uh, he has 76 pace. It didn't feel like that. It felt like it was in the mid-60s. Uh, I suppose if you put on a... I'm not too sure what kind of chem style puts pace up for defense, but... Um, you could definitely put on a chem style which improves his pace. I would recommend that. Uh, and then I think he'd be much more of a complete uh, defender. But for me, I did really enjoy him. 385k, is it worth it? I'm not too sure. I mean, I really did enjoy him. But I don't know if I'd pay... I don't know if like nearly 400k is really worth it for him. I suppose if he was maybe under 300k or something like that, then he probably would definitely be worth it. But I'm not too sure for 400k. I mean, if you've got lots of coins then I suppose he is kind of worth using. But for me, I mean, there are other alternative centre-backs who are cheaper, who will do just as good a job as Baresi. But having said that, though, he was still a very good player uh, for me to use. I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. And, uh, yeah, that is going to conclude this legend review for you guys. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.